Welcome into Soda City Living. Have you ever wanted to explore a goat farm and sanctuary? Maybe take part in goat yoga, meet some new duck friends, or grab a drink and sit on the beach and watch the sunset? You can do all of those things at an amazing Airbnb experience right here in the Midlands. I can't wait to show you. Joining us now is Josh, who's one of the co-owners of Goat Daddy's Farm in Elgin. Right. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, thank you for coming out today and we're see this beautiful B&B that we've got right here. Yes, we are so excited to learn more about it because there are a lot of really cool features you wouldn't necessarily expect for some place that's right outside of a farm. So Much less called the farmhouse at right. Goat Daddy's. So it is a farm, it is a house. It is a farmhouse, but it's a little more high tech than your traditional farmhouse is. Right, and what I love about it is it, it looks a little modern, but at the same time it has those kind of farmhouse touches right. to make you feel like you really are right in the element. So tell us what the inspiration was for creating an Airbnb here. Yeah, so one of the things out there is we do a lot of stuff with kids between field trips, between kids camps, between having folks come out on the weekends, and all the adults kept saying to us, what about us? Yeah. So we thought we'd go ahead and get something built where couples, friends can come out. It's really geared towards two folks over 21, but you can throw some kids in. We do have a couch. Um, and to be able to come out, stay the weekend with us, get the full adult experience, be able to come out, hang out on the farm with us for a couple hours, really have a nice stay and get away, uh, whether it's in town or coming from out of town, um, and just be able to get the full farm experience, but also luxury touches that you might want from a resort or somewhere else. Definitely, so when someone stays here, obviously they're gonna have a lot to do with what's going on over there in the farm. So what are the opportunities that they have to interact with the animals? Yeah, so most folks will check in anytime after about four o'clock that evening it's to themselves and then when they get up the next day they're gonna go ahead and have their coffee get ready for the day and then come over and have a private tour of a farm usually lasts about two hours it's very hands-on very behind the scenes you get to see all, everything that most folks coming out on a Saturday or Sunday might not be able to get their hands on or be able to see or touch so it's a really really good time for folks to really get hands-on get close with the animals and kind of really experience the full farm from a different vantage point than just coming to visit on the weekends definitely and of course someone can come out for you know whatever opportunity they want to come out for but a lot of people do special events they do. birthday yep. celebrations yep. so so far we've had a couple birthdays this past weekend we had a couple come out and actually get engaged so we were able to use one of the little baby goats and some yarn and a ring and it was just a really really good time to see two folks come together and now uh hopefully be uh have a happy life together and be engaged and uh, and have that lasting memory yes that's right you know <laughs> who knows maybe they'll keep coming back every single year to come see us after that they, they kind of have to at that yeah, point that's right it. that's it they're <laughs> part of the family now so yes yeah. so tell us some of the features about the house right outside you see this amazing hot tub yes so the big thing is uh you come up you're able to sit outside you got the hot tub over here it's you can hear a pin drop at night mm -hmm. everything gets quiet the animals settle down you hop in the hot tub you have no light pollution, turn off all the lights, you see the stars, sit out in the hot tub, and it's just a great time. And if you don't want to look at the stars, you can just turn the TV around and watch your favorite TV show or listen to some music while you're in the hot tub too. So it really gives you a lot of uh, versatility while you're out here. Yes, a lot of those modern touches we were talking about That's earlier. It. So just about everything can be powered by a remote or by touch. That's it. Yeah, so um, whether it's the HVAC unit or the fans or the lights or the soap dispensers or the sink, or even the bidet toilet. Um, everything has a remote or it can be just touch or not touch depending upon what you might be dealing with. Yeah, so there's a lot of great options in there. Yeah, and a lot of thought put into every guest stay. So I saw a wardrobe that had robes in it, which yep. is a really nice touch, but also I mean, you might be wondering if you're out here kind of in the middle of nowhere for a lot of people. Yep. How do you get food? What's the food situation? Yeah, so we thought about all those things. It's like once folks get out here, do they really want to leave? Do we really want them to leave? The whole point of coming out here is just to be able to get away for the weekend, not have to worry about too much. And so with that in mind, we actually reach out to guests before they come out. We get a whole list of items that they might want, which are their preferred items, whether it's their favorite creamer, whether it's their favorite bacon, whatever it might be, we try to have that in the fridge or on the uh, counter before they get here. That way they've got their breakfast covered, their lunch covered, all their drinks covered, any snacks covered. And then we do just say, you know, dinner is a good time to get out. Maybe you go see one of the local places because we do want to support the local businesses yes. around us. 
go out, whether it's to Random Tap Up the Road or Pontiac Casa Pizza or into Elgin or Camden. There's so many places for them to go to have a nice dinner, come back, get in the hot tub, have a nice drink, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Definitely. And for those special occasions, you do try to cater to those a little bit yeah, too. We do. So we like to find out ahead of time, you know, is there something going on? Is there a birthday? What's your reason for coming? Um, and we really like to have things like a happy birthday balloon or we had a wonderful guest come stay with us who was on her way to Charleston for her uh, new grandbaby being born so we had a it's a boy balloon inside Aww. there waiting for him when they got here so it's really those personal touches to just kind of say thank you we appreciate you coming um, we're here to serve you while you're here and give you a great time at the farm as well so yeah that's our main focus so having an Airbnb was that always a part of the plan or something that just kind of came up so way back before the farm was even uh, a barely thought we did some traveling to Costa Rica and stayed at a bunch of tree houses and we were like we want tree houses on the farm and that's our 10-year plan needless to say banks don't necessarily want to finance uh, tree houses okay. too much yeah. so <laughs> this is a good second best option that I think we were able to work out across the board and it was good maybe one day we'll throw one up in the trees but until then this was always the plan to at least have something here do the farm stays and have folks be able to also experience the farm have a great view and uh, hopefully a good time while they're in the process yeah and you mentioned that this was in the 10-year plan and it's I don't know years. if it's a coincidence or just really good planning. This is Goat Daddy Farms' 10th <laughs> year. It is, it is. 2014 is when we started and it's already 2024. It's hard to believe that yeah. it's been this long already, a whole decade. Um, but 10 years ago, it was like, we want to have this place. We want to be able to do something like this. And whether it was sheer luck or determination, I don't know which just yet, but we were able to make it happen. And people don't just visit from locally no. people have come from all over so what are some of the furthest places yeah, you think we've been so fortunate we've had uh, folks down from New York City Chicago all the way out in Texas down in Florida uh, we even had somebody reach out recently to us from England and she's looking to plan a trip to come wow. over from the UK just to visit us here in good old Tukidu, South Carolina. Yes! <laughs> so how can people find this place and how can they rent it out? Yeah, so they can go to our website, GoatDaddies.com. All the details are on there. You can also find it under the farmhouse at Goat Daddies on Airbnb. Um, so whether you go to our website, whether you go to our TikTok page, whether you go to any social media or uh, Airbnb directly, you'll be able to find the farmhouse at Goat Daddies. Goat Daddies has so much to explore, and coming soon on Soda City Living, we're feeding baby goats and also learning about llamas, cotamundis, camels, and so much more. Stay with us.